one of the most powerful, I guess, mediums of uh, relaying information as opposed to just telling somebody something. Now that's interesting. You said the power of storytelling. Why is storytelling powerful? Anybody because else? Because it helps you make a connection. Ooh, I like that because word. Someone, because when you, when someone's telling you something, they're they're making themselves vulnerable. And when you can identify with that, it makes them more comfortable. Do you think people want to make themselves more vulnerable? Does a story help to make them, I like that word, vul, vul, I can't say it, but I like the word, vulnerable. Um, do you think people like to be vulnerable? Do you, what are they really saying when they open themselves up to another person, a stranger? I, I trust you a little bit. Oh, the big T word. How important is trust? How, this always leads back to likability and trust. Isn't it funny? All roads lead to Rome. All sales lead to likability and trust. Why is, you know, so if we tell a story, do you think we're touching an emotional chord in somebody with that story? Do stories make us emotional? Yes. Um, Let's talk about that. Undoubtedly. Positive or negative, well, either way. We watch shows on Netflix all the time. Great story. Yeah. Why, why do we love stories so much in the theater, in Netflix, in books, in just talking to another? Why do, why is story so important to us? Because we know we're not alone in what we're feeling. We're not alone. Is that, ooh, that's another one of Cialdini's things, social proof, right? We like to do the things that other people do, right? Safety in numbers, birds of a feather flock together, keeping up with the Joneses. Are we, do we feel safe when we, hear a story where, that hits um, basic foundational emotional chords? Yes. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Why is storytelling so important? Somebody else. Give me, let's hear some more about this. Engagement brings down people's walls. Brings down walls. What kind of walls? Unbelief. People. Can you tell us? Sorry. People want to stay at an arm's distance and it kind of reels you reels them in. Are you saying it make maybe it makes a connection with people, an emotional connection? Yeah. That, that Why do, as we, well. do we spend a lot of time? Do we invest a lot of time in stories, other people's stories? Do we like their stories? Yeah. I mean, how many people here have had a teacher? Um I loved my teachers in school that always gave me stories or read stories to me from books or told a personal story as opposed to a lecture. There's a lecture, once again, there's lot logical and intellectual versus fantasy Emotion. or make-believe or, or a story that we can, that resonates with us. What do you think gets to a, what do you think can move us to persuade us? A story or a lot of facts? What works better? Story. Stories. No doubt. Story. Stories. A defensive. Especially, I was going to say, especially a story that we can put ourselves in as the character. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, it makes us a little more relatable and it kind of helps break down some of the barriers within that conversation. Exactly. What kind of stories in real estate? Most of us are in real estate or any business. So when we. Oh, I'm getting some background noise here somewhere. Okay, thank you. Um, when, you know what, what do we, in gut sales method, we always, what's one of the no-nos? Uh, no scripts, no begging or asking for the order, and no, the P word. Presentation. Why, is, Presentation. why, am, I, why, am, why am I such, pardon my language, lady, such a hard ass about not giving premature presentations? Why is a story so more? Like the, so we don't sound like the other guys. And gals. Okay, that's true. But what's the lot? We don't want to sound like other people. We want to be fresh, original, um, you know, c um, creative. But what's the logic behind that? Am I just making that stuff up or is there logic behind it? Noe? We're trying to solve an unknown problem sometimes. We just present on something. We don't even know what their problem is. Ooh, it's like doing surgery without an x-ray on a patient, right? You wouldn't want a doctor, does it? Would you want an attorney to represent you in court and who doesn't know your story or something like that? Okay, so most of your competition, they will throw the kitchen sink at a prospect and talk about everything they think is important. And the prospect is just, 
<laughs> How many people here have gone, oh, shit, it's a salesman. Oh, God, he's just going on and on and on, you know? 75, 25. Yeah, 75, 25. Back to story. Today. Why is this story? We, uh, people want facts also. Of course, they want to know the price of the property or the price of the uh, whatever you're selling, the product or service. That's important. Facts are important. But is it more important to tell a story first that, that is relatable? How about when we get objections? Is it, can we use a story when we hear stalls and objections? Absolutely. In what way? Who has an example? I gave a homework assignment out. Bailey, did you raise your hand there? Yeah, I didn't see the homework, but I'll, I'll volunteer. I'm, feel oh, yeah, I'm not that straight. The test, just tell me the dog ate it and I'll believe you. Uh, yeah, you know, the dog <laughs> ate my digital homework. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> humor right yeah um, I dog ate my digital homework i'm gonna use that <laughs> um feel felt found is something that i've used a lot you know i understand those are prospects how you feel you know a lot of the people i've talked in the past have felt the same way until they found out blah 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 and by the way let me tell you this quick story that you know i had somebody in your exact situation and i helped them through it i think yeah does anyone have an example? If uh, there's a stall, I uh, say, well, gee, you know, uh, Bailey, I want to hold off for a while. This sounds really good, but I want to shop around a little bit, uh, see if I can get the best rate from somebody else. No offense. You're a great guy, and you've spent two hours with me. You bought me coffee and great and Krispy Kreme donuts, and you're just wonderful. And you, I know you drove two hours in traffic, but I want to shop around a little bit. I, I understand how you feel. Um, what exactly are you looking for? Okay, I mean, go into it. Maybe tell a story about somebody who did the same thing. Say, Claude, that's okay on that high pressure. But I had a client recently who lost a lot of money because they hesitated. Did you ever hear he who hesitates lost? Go into a little story. Uh, something you read somewhere, something you experienced personally, something you heard third party or hearsay. Be creative. Here. Yeah, Bailey, uh, you know, you sound great and I appreciate you. I, I just want to hold off a little and check around a bit on the best rate. Sure, I understand that. And, you know, I'm certainly uh, not trying to push you anything that, uh, that, that's not a good fit for you. Hey, if we're not a good fit, we're not a good fit. Uh, no, uh, no worries to me. But, you know, I, I got to tell you, Claude, rates are going up right now. And I've, I've worked with other people in the past that um, waited too long. And then they, you know, they wanted to shop around and they came back and the offer was not available anymore. They couldn't get the rates.